Hi guys, how are you here from the Art Gear Guide? Thanks very much for joining me. Um, as you can see, I've got a review of the Lara Ram Rembrandt Polycolor Pencils. Now, I've reviewed these in the past. In fact, these were one of the these were among one of the first pencils I reviewed. So that like I reviewed them about four years ago, maybe three three and a half years ago. Uh, but I wanted to do an update because for a couple of reasons. Um, obviously, my knowledge of pencils has expanded a little bit so I can add a little bit of information. I looked over the review that I done and the information in that review won't change. Everything that I said in that first review is exactly the same. It's just I'm going to be able to add a little bit more on this including obviously demonstrating the pencils properly uh, in the way of providing some artwork and um, Hopefully the, the audio and the video quality is much better than, than it was way back then also. So, uh, but before I get into the review, I just want to say one thing about the uh, video I did uh, previously with regards to setting up the Patreon account. One thing that I forgot to say, uh, and I want to make it very clear, I forgot to say that if anybody signs up to be a Patreon and you're maybe there for a month or two months or forever, however long you can be there for, please, please do not, under any circumstances, ever feel guilty about having to withdraw your uh, support. Um, because I, I would feel terrible if, if people continued supporting me on Patreon um, and they were pushing themselves financially to do so. Uh, because they didn't want to withdraw the support. If you're unable to make a donation on Patreon. Uh, for whatever reason. I completely understand it. And I don't want anybody to feel. That once they make that. Initial donation. Or you know subscribe on Patreon. That you have got you feel that you've got to continue that on. Please do not feel like that at all. Um, I would be very sad and upset. If I felt. Uh, if I knew that people were. Um, unable to withdraw their donations because they thought it was going to upset me. That's not the case at all. So I just wanted to get that out there. I forgot to mention it. Uh, I'm obviously learning a little bit more about Patreon as, as I've now set up the account and things are going on. So hopefully, you know, I'll refine the account and I'm going to have two, um, hopefully two tutorials up on the Patreon page by the end of this month September so that's that's my goal uh, uh, one of those will be the tiger and I'm not too sure what the other one will be but um, I will have a uh, I'm ho I, my aim is to have two tutorials up on the on the channel before the end of this month anyway on with the actual review so okay so this is the 72 count of the the Lara Rembrandt polycolor now um, you can't get a bigger set than this, but it's the wooden box set, and that totals uh, 106. Now, it's not 106 pencils. They say it's like 106 items, uh, but I'll have more detail of that over on the, the written review if you want to go across and find out all the different things that come in that wooden box set. But in terms of tens, uh, the 72 set is the biggest. Now, they're a little bit like the Koei Noor Polycolor in that before they brought out the 144 set uh, the Polycolor also had a set of 12 browns and a set of 12 greys. The Lyra Rembrandt also have a set of 12 greys. Now I haven't been able to find, I was nearly sure that a while ago I seen that they had um, a set of uh, browns but I cannot find that set anywhere at the minute. So I don't know whether I've been dreaming that or whether that's a, a set that's been removed. But I, d I do know that the, there's a set of 12 greys. Um, which when, when we get into having a look at this, you will see that that set of 12 greys is definitely needed. Um, and like and I, I would actually say that the, the, the set of 12 browns would be not necessarily needed, but certainly welcomed. So uh, let's take a look. So it... The, the thing I love about the, the Lyre Rembrandt, now the set, that I think I was the 36 set I had whenever I done my first review of these. Uh, I love the artwork on the front. It's a beautiful uh, 
10 that they come in, so to speak, but it's kind of like a sleeve. So you have this sleeve, and on the back of the sleeve, um, there is a, a color chart, and also on the color chart, there is um, their, their light fast scale. So their scale is out of three stars. Let you know what the scale is on the back of the tin, which is really good. You don't have to go looking for it online or anything like that. And each individual color uh, is named on the back here. And the the light fast rating is also beside it. But let's have a little look at the, the set itself. So you just slip off the sleeve and then you can bend that or keep that. Uh, I've still got mine from the 36 set. Uh, I just keep it. I, I like the artwork on the front. I'm not 100% sure who the artwork was done by, whether it was done by somebody from um, the company or whether they commissioned somebody else to do it. I'm not too sure. So the actual tin is pretty straightforward and simple. It's just this like silver tin with the Lara um, logo uh, just in the center here. And Germany, obviously it's a German-based company, so Germany down here. And we all know... Uh, anything anything coming out of Germany is good. Uh, well built, well made products. So when you open the tin, you see with the first layer here, you've got these really handy uh, flaps or handles, whatever you want to call them, for lifting out the first tray. It's uh, really dead easy. Some of the some color pencils, when you get them, the the first tray can be a little bit. Um, a little bit clumsy lifting out sometimes you got these little pincer things on the side and they're they're difficult to grab hold of if you've got chunkier fingers or whatever um but i think more and more are and opting for this type of thing these cardboard flaps or sometimes i've seen in sets they've got the little uh bits of string that uh, that, that allow you to lift them out but no, nevertheless uh so if you take a look here, this is the first layer of colors. So the first layer you're going to be presented with, you've got your yellows going into your oranges, reds, reds, um, nice, nice selection of reds. And then there's some nice flesh tones here. And then the, the flesh tones then they kind of like gently go into these uh, magentas, purples, lilacs, and then in the, the, the blues, light blues. Uh, the second tier, as you can see here, has got the um, leading into the blues, greens, really nice selection of greens, but you know, that's the color I always look for. Um, I'm always looking for a nice selection of greens because I, I really do enjoy doing botanical work. Uh, then after the greens, we come into the sepias, Van Dyke Brown, some ochres, burnt ochres, uh, some uh, Indian red, Phoenician red, cinnamon, some really nice colors here. There's there's only, um, in terms of the grays, we've got a, a light gray, silver gray, medium gray, dark gray, uh, and then the black. So that's why I was saying that a set of 12 grays that you can purchase separately is a, a welcomed addition to this 72 set. The browns, now the artwork that I've done with these pencils I could have done with there being some deeper browns in there, although the the artwork that I done, I was relatively happy with it. Um, I just wanted to get a, a deeper, darker, richer tone in some of the areas, and I wasn't really able to get it with with this set, uh, and it was just lacking that um, that really deep dark brown um i think the darkest brown is really the, the the dark sepia and you wouldn't even really call it that so next after that would be the van dyke brown and van dyke brown is a nice brown but it's not what i would call like an autumn brown color it's not a really punchy brown um but this is where the likes of the uh the indian red and the um the the Venetian red and the cinnamon kind of helped to d deepen those browns out a little bit. With this set as well, the 72 set, you get two Lyra Rembrandt Splendor blenders in here. These blenders, I've used these before, really nice. And uh, I use them in some of the testing that you will see uh, in this review as well. So that's the... the 
now the color chart that i've put up here as well you can see as well um over on the art gear guide i have a list of all the the light fast ratings so if you want to know exactly how many three star pencils are available out of a 72 set and including the the the, the 12 grays go across and take a little look and it'll give you um um an exact replication of what the light fast ratings are for these pencils okay so let's take a look at the actual pencil itself now these pencils are actually very very deceptive because they feel very thin and flimsy in the hand but actually the core is a four millimeter core now that's actually quite in relation to the barrel so the barrel is a 7.4 millimeter barrel a lot of pencils that have got a barrel around about that size, 7.3 millimeter barrel size, they normally sport like a, a 3.3 or 3.8 millimeter core. So in, in relation to the, the barrel size and the core, th this pencil, although it, be, it is a thin pencil, this is all core. So this is all pigment. There's not very much wood. Um, protecting this pencil I, I say the pencil is well protected i'm not saying that it's not a well protected pencil what i'm saying is that the, the they've chosen to go for uh you know a good a good size core filled with pigment um as opposed to like a big thick barrel and stuff like that now the only issue i had with the size of the barrel is when sharpening on a handheld sharpener because I th and I think people, because it's such a slim pencil, might might get some problems when they're turning with a handheld. But other than that, you know, it's a, it's it is what it is. It's a four millimeter core with a seven point four millimeter barrel. So along the the, the actual pencil here, we have the Lara um, logo, and then after that it says uh, Rembrandt. Then obviously the, the type of pencil it is, which is polycolor, and then made or the the word Germany here because this is where the company origins are at the very end here we have the pigment identifier it's an inch long pigment identifier and the very end of the pencil is capped also on the opposite side of that we have a barcode here just close towards the core after that we have the pigment um, name and it's in two languages, it's in German and English. And then obviously there's a, a, a number here because these pencils are open stock so they can be purchased individually. Uh, and that's it. The actual barrel is kind of like this beautiful wood grain. So you get to see, it's it's a really attractive looking pencil whenever you're you know just looking at it. Um, it sharpens perfect. Now they say that this pencil is an oil based pencil, but as you all know, I don't I don't like to get into the semantics of whether a pencil is oil or wax based. I tell you how it feels in my hand. Um, when I was doing uh, the artwork that I did with these pencils and the uh, the different the various tests that I did, it's the pencil sharpens incredibly well. It lays down beautifully. This pencil layers like you wouldn't believe. The artwork that I done, I did it on Fabriano Artistico. Uh, extra white hot pressed um, paper and I was just layering and layering uh, and I know that's a mixture of the pencil and the paper but I, I did try this pencil the testing that I did with this pencil I did it on some um, Claire Fontaine paint on mixed media paper again I was still able to get multiple layers with it but you'll see that in the test that I'm going to throw up here in a wee second so this is the test that uh, that I've done with it. So you can see here the first part of the test is the the the, the layers. So um, I always do it where I I lay down five light layers. So the first tier here is one layer. Next one's two layers, three layers, four layers, and five layers. And then the last one here is just one heavy application on the paper. Um, and you can see the difference there in the layers. I always say five layers because I know I don't personally use odorless mineral spirits, but I know a lot of color pencil artists do. And I I know that a lot of them, 
when they tend to get around the five, six layer mark, that's when they will uh, start using their odorless mineral spirits. If you start using odorless mineral spirits after maybe one or two layers, you're not going to get the, the, the right effect that the odorless mineral spirits is supposed to give you. Uh, you need to have plenty of layers on the paper first for the odorless mineral spirits to break down the pigment and then give it that painterly effect. But as you can see here, the colours that I've used is like this scarlet red, apple green, true blue and lemon yellow. And then I've done a, a, a black here at the bottom. I've done a little bit of blending here as well. So you can see here with the lemon yellow, the true blue, I've got a really nice green. The scarlet red and the lemon yellow, you can, the orange isn't like really vivid, but you can see it. Um, and then I've done the true blue and scarlet red and it's given me this nice purple as well And I blended these using the the splendor blender that comes in the the, the set as well With the splendor blender you can also purchase um, Individually as well uh, I just done this little ball here at the bottom you can see uh, That's done with five different colors. So I've used uh, the light blue true blue blue violet light cobalt and black and I know some of those colors aren't even in the same color family, like the uh, blue violet shouldn't really be with those others. But ne nevertheless, it is what it is. Um, and I was able to create this li this little effect here with this uh, circle, making it look like a, a sphere. Um, you can see from this this test how, how well these colors blend and merge together uh, and then the, the the blender just gives it that little the, the nice thing about the splendor blender is that I personally whenever it comes to blending things like that I use a white pencil or a, a, I might use a lighter color so if I'm doing blues I'll use a light blue or, or reds I'll use like a really light pink uh, I I try to stay away from anything that's going to wash out the color that I've already got on there the nice thing about these colorless blenders, these uh, especially the, the Splendor blender that comes with, La with the, the Lara pencils, it doesn't seem to wash out any of those colors. So whatever colors you're laying down, all the blender's going to do is just mix those colors up a little bit and create the, the seamless blend that you might be looking for without washing out any of the colors. Uh, like I said, this is the, the artwork that I've done. It's just a horse's eye. I was going to do like a full horse head and then I just thought, you know what, I don't have time to do that. I've got a lot of things. And I, I then thought to myself, you know what, I wouldn't mind this being. I think this is a good opportunity to um, have something added into the, my Patreon account where I can do uh, a tutorial. So I turned it into like a bit of a study and just done this horse's eye, which has got like a, a little bit of a reflection in it. So I thought that that would be a nice tutorial to do uh, over on my Patreon account so I'll have a link for that down below um, if you're interested in trying to replicate something like this. So the next test is to have a look at the pigments on some black paper so I will get the colors that I normally use here which is um, So I've got the white, red, blue, yellow and green uh, and all this test does is show us uh, how opaque or translucent the, the colours are. So we'll start off with this uh, red. Now this is vermilion red so it's kind of like more to leaning towards the, the orange family. And again, when I do these tests on this black paper, I'm just putting a heavy application, a really heavy application down. I'm not trying to look for layering techniques or anything to get on the black paper. And you can see there that that's a really translucent color. So not very opaque at all. Um, the next one up is this lemon yellow. And this is definitely a little bit more opaque. But you can still see a little bit of the black showing through. Uh, next up is this uh, true blue. You can see there that there's a little bit of um, crumbling. But again, this is uh, I'm 
putting heavy up, uh, pressure on this. So when I when I was layering and I was doing the artwork, there was no crumbling at all. It's a really nice solid core in this pencil. So you can see there with that true blue, that is very opaque. And this is a really good example of the difference between a translucent pigment and a opaque pigment. The opaque uh, pigment is, is, think of it as just like a thick paint, a nice thick uh, gouache really, gouache is opaque. Um, you're not going to be able to see any of the black through here. It's all blue. That's what you can see. With that red, that's more like if you think of along the lines of a really weak watercolor. Uh, you put it down and I can see lots of black papers showing through here. Uh, I will have a photograph of this so you can take a better look at it because I know the light is glinting off here a little bit. And finally here, I've got this uh, apple green. So it's... Um, Again, this one here is a little bit like the lemon yellow, a little bit more opaque than the red, but um, there is still black showing through here. Uh, I'll try this apple green, which is a lighter green. Yeah, you can still see there, you can, you can still see paper, uh, black paper coming through. And then finally, uh, some some of the white here. Um, obviously, all color pencil artists are always looking for a really nice white pencil. And with the with this Lara Rembrandt Polycolor, I would say this white is. It's quite middle of the road in terms of, it's not like a super opaque, but it's not very, it's not like terribly translucent either. So you can see there, uh, the difference in the, in the colors when I'm holding it up away from the light there, that the blue is, is really, really strong and opaque and the white as well is, um, not as opaque as the blue, but uh, certainly not as translucent as the other colours. So there you have it guys, that's my review of the Lara Rembrandt Polycolor Pencils. Now don't forget, I do have a written review over in the Art Gear Guide where I have a little bit more information for you about the light fast ratings, uh, the scale and all the rest of it that they have for their, their, their pencils, the different sets that are available and prices, they're all over on the Art Gear Guide and links to where you can get a set of these if you're interested. I really like these pencils and I think the the Lyra Rembrandt pencil is a pencil that um, when, when I'll often get asked Harry recommend um, a, a really good art pencil for a decent price not like way up there at the top end not necessarily right down at the bottom end either, somewhere in the middle. And the pencils that I always mention are the Koh-i-Noor and the, the Lara Rembrandt. I think these pencils, although being very different pencils, I think they, they, um, they are beautiful pencils. Very strong in terms of, the, you know, the fact that they're light fast. Um, and they, the, the pigment strength of the, the Lara Rembrandt polycolors are, are just gorgeous. Um... I would like to see a little bit more browns added into the set, like the, the 12 set of greys that they have. I think that would be tremendous. Um, and don't forget as well, the 108 or 106 set that they have, which is the wooden box set. To find out more about that set and what's actually included in that, I'll have uh, I'll have that over in the Art Gear Guide as well, where you can take a little look at it. And if that's something that interests you, then you can uh, go for that if... if if that's something you're looking for. But I loved using the, the Lara Rembrandt. When I first done this review, I really enjoyed using these pencils, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't do artwork back then. I didn't demonstrate the, the products that I was reviewing back then. Uh, and so I had always meant to come back around to doing it. And because I loved the pencils so much myself, in any case, um, I went out and got this 72 set. Also, in terms of the, the actual build quality of the pencil, the pencil is a really well-built pencil. 
there's no breakages in, in the 36 set that I had. I think it was 36, 36 set, maybe or 40 set. I can't remember. Um, the, the first review I did, I still have some of those pencils. They haven't broke or anything like that. They still sharpen perfectly. Uh, and this 72 set that I've used as well, uh, I used a lot of the browns for the, 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 the horse eye that I did. And uh, there was no breakages at all through there. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Don't forget, if you want to take part, uh, if you want to go across and take a look at the, the Patreon account that I've set up, uh, you, you can do so. But if you would like to know more about why I've set up that Patreon account, I'll have a link to the video that I've just recently done explaining why I've set up the Patreon and, and the fact that uh, the reviews will always be free. Nobody will ever have to pay for the reviews ever. Uh, I'm just going to be starting to put tutorials over on the uh, Patreon account. But like I say, if you want to know more about that, just take a little look at that video down below. And finally as well, if you're watching this video before the end of September 2020, today is the... Um, as I'm doing this, today's the 21st of September, so this will probably go out on the 22nd. If you're interested in getting in on the, the Black Widow giveaway for the, the Monarch, I've got three sets of 48 colour pencils to give away. If you're interested in that, again, I'll have a link for that video down below. Go across, watch the video, find out what you've got to do to enter into that, and then you're golden. You can get in and hopefully win your set, a set of 48 Black Widow Monarch colour pencils. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram as well. All those social media sites, I'll always put up like work in progress uh, images of stuff that I'm doing, that type of thing. Uh, if I'm giving away stuff, I'll always put it out on social media first of all, let you know what's coming up. Uh, and when I do some um, live streams as well, I'm always putting those out on social media as well. Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye.